Uh, workspace Runner, I'll, I'll probably have to speed up a bit because we're halfway through already, but Workspace Runner um, now has the ability to say how many concurrent processes you want to run at the same time. So what I've got here is a workspace that has... Uh, this reader and writer, I think, is criminally underused. It's the path and directories reader. So what I'm doing is basically reading a list of files within a particular folder. Um, in this case, it's reading all of the MIF files in that folder, and it's passing it to the workspace runner and saying, hey, run this area building workspace using path windows, which is the, the path to the files that are in that folder. So if I've got about 30 files in that folder, um, if I say wait for job to complete while well, it's doing one at a time, if I say don't wait for the job to complete, then it would run 30 jobs at once. But now in 2013, we've actually got this option here, maximum number of concurrent processes, and I can say, well, I don't want to run 30 at a time, but I can run eight at one time, and that would be pretty reasonable to do on my machine. So now I could click OK, and it would run no more than eight processes at one time. So it's, it's sort of bringing a little bit of server, if you like, to the desktop environment. It's almost a queuing uh, environment. Um, it says up to 32 processes. I'm not quite sure if we if we do allow that, Dale, but um, that's one I've always wondered about. Yeah, I, I'm not sure either if it can ever quite go that high, but uh, but, but anyway, but sure. I guess we're allowing you to enter it. <laughs> yes, for sure you can do at least eight processes, and you, I can run eight at one time here. So that's um, the, like a teeny tiny change to the workspace runner, but I think it's going to make one of those big differences uh, with what you can do uh, with that. It sort of makes batch processing a whole uh, a whole lot simpler. Some some folks have asked about that. Um, yes, the the limit there is a limit in to in terms of the number of concurrent processes you can run. That's a function of both the machine you're on and the license you have. So, um, but don't worry, we won't error out. If you ask for more than we will be able to do, to do, we will just halt it or not halt it, but throttle it basically. Stuff will still run, but um, it just may take a little longer. Yeah, and and there's a difference. Just just to mention, I found this out. There's a difference between the processes that you're running in the uh, workspace runner and the processes when you do a. Um, I'm looking here to see if we can find one. The parallel processing. Those are two completely different things. So the two different limits are are different. Um, the the one for parallel processing depends on license. I think the workspace runner doesn't. It gives you the same number, regardless. Of license is what I understand. So. Okay, yep. 